Hey guys, it's me, Carrie, and I am back to shoot another video for you. Blocking little background mess there. Because I am really, really so disgusted with Lip Smacker right now, I can't even put it into words. Um, if you want to know why, you can watch my last video, but I've really... I'm heartbroken because this is a company I grew up with, I've loved since I was a little girl. It's been around since 1973, as long as I have, and um, their their customer service at this point is pretty much non-existent, unless you're one of their Lip Smacker brand ambassadors who, you know, they like to, you know, send everything in the world free to. They don't really pretty much seem to care about the people that are actually paying for their products anymore. Um, the quality control is pretty much non-existent. Their customer service is pretty much non-existent. They get back to you when they feel like it. They give you the runarounds, and you're lucky if you get any satisfaction at all. Um, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. That's in the video prior to this one if you want to check it out. This, however, I would like to review for you guys. It has been sitting in my basket of review stuff for a little bit now. This is a Blistex Bliss Flip, and this one is the Ultra Moisturizing with Shea Butter. Um, I purchased this, I actually had to return something to CVS, and um, I didn't have my receipt, so they gave me a, um, a merchandise credit, so I used part of that towards purchasing this, and um, I'm really excited to check it out, so we will open it on the air with you. Um, we, meaning me and the lip balm, I guess. <laughs> but um, let me read the back to you first. It says, Blistex Bliss Flip. This creamy rich formula takes only a swipe or two to leave your lips feeling great. Our breakthrough package features a unique flip undercap that stays attached. Ultra moisturizing, a refreshing blend bursting with shea butter and conditioners for selfie healthy, healthy, supple lips. Our favorite ways to open a Bliss Flip, play with it to find your own favorite way. Oh, that's really cute. So they show you like different styles of how you can do it. So you can be all like fancy, you know, how you open it. But, um, and of course I should have taken a um, thumbnail first, but I forgot because I'm just really aggravated right now. First of all, it is blue and it is pearlescent and it is gorgeous. I love it. And it's got the Blistex little logo on top and like a little finger divot. But this is so stinking cute. I'm so excited about this. Oh, look at how cute that is. I love this. Okay, now this is supposed to click into place, I think they said. Hmm. Okay. It kind of does. Let me say, does it? Yeah, kind of does. Okay, that's pretty cool. I don't know if this has a scent or anything. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, it does. It smells really nice. I don't know what it's supposed to smell like, but it does have a nice scent. I hate saying nondescript sweet smell, but that's honestly what it is to me. It smells really nice. Um, it's pretty thick. It, like, you can't really see white on my hand, but when I apply it, like, in real life, it's almost like you can see a tiny bit of frosty white. Which is weird, because it doesn't look like it has a frost to it. But it smells really good. Okay, let me try it on. Mmm, it feels nice. Mmm. Well, it does have a nice taste, too. Again, nondescript sweet. I hate to say that, but that's what it tastes like. But it's very pleasant. I really like it. Mmm. Hmm. Yeah, it feels really good. It's very moisturizing. It's kind of thick, but not thick, thick, like clumpy feeling or anything. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm not sure how to describe it other than that it feels really nice. It smells very pleasant. It does have a light, pleasant taste. It's blue. It's beautiful. The packaging is super adorbs. And then you just flip it back over like this. And then, ta-da! I'm really, really happy with this. I honestly don't remember what I paid for it. I think it was pretty pricey. It was probably close to 4 bucks, which is not what they usually are. But CVS, you know, their price point was a little bit higher. But because I had a store credit, I said, screw it. I'm just going to try it out. Um, I think I've seen these at five below for maybe like $3.29 or possibly $2.99. I don't know for certain. But I know CVS is on the pricier end for these. You can find them for cheaper for sure. But I really, really like this. Um, let me see. Does this feel like it stays closed? It does. It locks into place pretty well, so you don't have to worry, like, about it in your bag opening up, which is good, because that was a concern for me. I really like this a lot. I'm actually going to go ahead and give this an 8. I'm really, really pleased with it. I like how it feels, like, kind of textured, too. I don't know. Hopefully you can see on camera that it's kind of textured. I'm so, so happy with this. Um, 
Again, I wouldn't buy it at CVS if I were you, unless they have a sale or you have a coupon or whatever. Um, I have seen them cheaper. I know Five Below. I'm not sure where else I've seen them, but I'm. Don't quote me, but I'm almost positive they had it for, like I said, either three twenty one or three twenty nine or two ninety nine there. So um, I would definitely check out Five Below, possibly Walmart. Um, I don't know if they carry them there. I think they might. I think they might. And Walmart's usually pretty good on their lip balm prices. But I love how it feels. I love how it looks. I love the color. I'm really happy with the quality. So yeah, I'm gonna give that an eight for sure. Um, why not a nine? I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, um, I'm not like super technical in my in my marking system and my rating system. Um, you know, I don't go point by point like my dear friend Jen Beetle Babe does. She's like, honestly, she gives the best reviews, I think, of anybody that I follow on YouTube. She's very, very thorough. She's probably reviewed this one and probably did a hell of a more thorough job on it than I'm doing right now. I just get to the basic nitty gritty, does it smell good? Does it taste good? Does it feel good? That's really about it. And does it live up to any promises that it makes? Like this one does not have a, a, a fragrance listed. It doesn't promise flavor. So if it didn't have, you know, a flavor, I couldn't complain about that. It just simply, this is what it says. It definitely does moisturize. It, the package works. Everything's intact, um, which is obviously a really good thing and not always the case. Again, referring to my previous video that I just shot from Lip Smacker, who is on my shit list right now. But um, yeah, I really am so, so super happy with this one. So um, I definitely, why not a nine? I have no idea. I'm just giving it an eight because that's just what came to my head. But thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already and you'd like to. I would appreciate that. And I will be back soon with more stuff. Bye, guys.